What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about the new craftable set coming to the High Isles chapter in the Elder Scrolls Online, the Druid's Braid. Now this is a very unique, interesting set that a lot of people are talking about on PC right now during the public test server because you can actually get a 12 item bonus from this set if you decide to wear it on every single piece of your gear. So you could wear it from pretty much head to toe and your jewelry and your weapons. What you get with this pretty much is max stats. So uh, when you equip these items, one item gives you 1540 max health, two items gives you 1401 max magic, and three items gives you 1401 max stamina. And it just repeats itself like that. So four items will be 1540 max health, five items will be 1401 max magic, six items will be 1401 max stam, and so on for items, you know, item pieces 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So you could actually equip this on every single piece on your character. Like I said, from all of your body pieces to your jewelry to your weapons. And you would end up with those max stats. So that 1540 health, 1401 magic, and 1401 max stam 12 times. And this is kind of a unique set in my opinion because you can stack so many stats for really any type of character now with all the hybrid options we have. So just let's say if you decided you wanted to make a hybrid kind of magic style character you're still specking into that magic you know you're specking 64 points into magic once you equip this you're going to have a ton of resources even on the health and stamina side as well now the one downside i've been hearing about this that a lot of people on the public test server have been talking about is really you don't have a lot of resource management when it comes to recovery uh, there's not a lot of recovery for you know your stam your health or your magic so that could be an issue i think when people try to try to make some builds with this it's also in my opinion not a bad set if you want to wear just the five items you know if you just want to wear wear it for the five piece bonus you're still going to get a lot of max stats out of this and i'm really interested to see exactly what you know players can come up with when it comes to druids braid because this is the first time ever in the elder scrolls online we've ever had anything that allows you to wear 12 pieces and actually get a bonus from every single piece that you're wearing which kind of brings the question up will we see more of this style armor in the future uh, will we see you know items start dropping with you know more stats if you decide to wear more pieces or will we see more craftable sets like this it's going to be kind of a hard thing to do, I think, in some ways, unless you do it with just max stats. Because if you start putting damage and, and, and regen and things like of that nature kind of on some of these gear pieces, it might get to be a bit too overpowered. Because if you had straight damage on a 12-piece set, that would be way too strong. and probably be something that everyone would wear. I mean, maybe not, because you're still going to have to get your stats from some from somewhere at some point. But it's just a, a thing, I think, that Zoss is probably kind of toying around with the idea of doing some different things with gear going forward, which is a good idea in my opinion, because I've talked about how many sets there are in the game in past videos and how a lot of them just feel useless. There's just, you know, a handful of sets for any kind of build that you want that most people use if you're going to go kind of for a meta build. And if you're like myself and you like to just kind of mess around with a lot of stuff, you might mess with other sets or you might try on other sets or you might, you know, test other sets out. But for the most part, most people, you know, use the same kind of sets for pretty much every class. So with the addition of the Druid's Braid set, the addition of having the ability to wear tw uh, 12, <clears throat> excuse me, items and actually get uh, a bonus from all 12 items from the same set is something very unique to ESO. And I'm kind of curious how Zoss will use this going forward. And I'm kind of curious how the community is going to make a build with, you know, this particular set. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.